Whenever we have to track attendance and leave of employees, we maintain two files, leave tracker and attendance sheet. In today's video, we will see how we can track both the things in same file. Hi, my name is Vijay and you are watching Office Mom. Let's start the video without any delays. This is a tracker where we are going to track three things, attendance, leave and salary. Over here, our attendance as well as our leaves will be marked. On the right hand side, we will be able to see consolidated, present, absent and all the leaves. On extreme right hand side, we will be able to see salary calculations. I'll show you how it works. From here, we can select our week offs. In case our week offs will be two days, Saturdays and Sundays, we will have to select both the days, Saturdays and Sundays and both the days will be highlighted over here. In case you have got just one day as week off means only Sunday, you can click on the drop down and do it none. And only Sunday will be highlighted. Holidays will be highlighted in green automatically. In case your week off will be on some other day, you can select from the drop down and that specific day will be highlighted in red. Means you can select two days as well as one day. In case you don't want to select any day, you can do it none and none of the days will be highlighted. You can select your months from here, means from the drop down and the data of a specific month will be featured over here. Even the salary calculation for that specific month will be featured over here. I have provided two drop downs, one over here and one in the beginning. And both the drop downs are interconnected. If I change month over here, our calculations will be changed and the month will be changed over here also. I have got total four sheets over here. One is setting, second is mark leave, third is monthly summary and the last one is summary sheet. I'll come in the setting sheet. In the setting sheet, I have got leave type along with codes, months, employee ID, employee name along with their designation and basic salary and over here we have got dates and holiday name. In the second sheet, we are going to mark leaves. I have marked attendance as well as leaves only for January. This is for 1st Jan, this is for 2nd Jan, this is for 3rd Jan and so on. Whenever we will have to mark our attendance, we will have to click on the last date and we will be diverted to end of the sheet. We can copy employee ID, control C or command C and we will paste over here just in the end. Control V. Employee name and designation will be auto picked. You will have to insert the date manually and the days will feature automatically. Leave type will be managed through drop downs and name of holidays will feature automatically whenever the dates will change. I'll come in monthly summary. We had seen this sheet in the very beginning. I'll come in the summary sheet. This is our consolidated report of attendance, leave and salary calculation. We will have to insert the date range and data of that specific range will be featured over here. Let's start creating a new sheet now. I have opened a new file over here. I have taken leave type along with codes. Over here, we will insert months. I'll insert first date of January, first date of February. We'll select both and we'll drag till December. We'll right click the mouse. We'll go in format sales, custom. I'll delete this and we'll type M four times. M M M M dash Y Y Y Y and we'll do OK. We'll take this in left side. Now it's January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October and December. I'll click over here. Employee ID. Employee name. Designation. Salary. We'll select this. And we'll give borders. We'll put a color. And we'll change the font color. I'll take employee name along with employee ID, designation and salary from my example sheet. I'll paste it over here. I'll give borders and we'll adjust the column size. I'll click over here, serial number, date, holidays. We'll select this and we'll give it a color. We'll give borders. I'll take my holiday list from my example file. We'll paste over here. We'll give it a border and we'll adjust it. We will select the dates. We will go in formulas. Define name. We will delete this. 
and we'll put the name as holidays. Okay, we will give this borders. Now we will select employee details and we'll press control T and we'll create a table. My table has headers and we will do OK. So the table is ready now. I'll delete the filter button or I'll remove the filter button. In case you have got more employees, just click over here under employee ID and type the employee number and table will keep on updating. I'll delete this. I'll insert a new tab and this will be mark leaves. Here we will mark our attendance as well as our leaves. I'll click over here on A1, unique ID, employee ID, employee name, designation, date, day, leave type. I'll click over here and we'll take all the things in center and in mid. We'll select this and we'll create borders. I'll go in view and we'll remove the grid lines. Now we will select this and we'll hit Ctrl T. My table has headers and we will do OK. So our table got created. We will remove the filter buttons. Unique ID. We will create this unique ID only for VLOOKUP purpose. It will be plus or equal to employee ID and date. We will hit enter. And this formula got inserted in the whole table of unique ID column. In case you will not create this unique ID, you will not be able to create the format properly. Employee ID, we will create drop downs. We will go in data, data validation, list, source. We will go in setting sheet. We will take this in right hand side. We will click over here and we'll do OK. So the drop down got created. I'll delete this and we'll drag this till end. Employee ID. I'll drag this. The formula will be plus or equal to VLOOKUP bracket open lookup value. Employee ID will be our lookup value, comma, table array. We will go in setting sheet and we'll select this. We will press F4 or function F4 and our cells will be logged. Comma, employee name is in column 2, so we will press column 2, comma 0 for approximate match, we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We can see an error over here. So we will click over here in first cell and we'll insert if error just behind VLOOKUP. If error bracket open, we will come in the end comma double inverted comma twice bracket close and we will hit enter. Designation. Again, we will insert VLOOKUP plus or equal to VLOOKUP bracket open, lookup value, we will select employee id, comma, table array, we will go in setting sheet and we'll select this, comma, designation is in column 3, 1, 2, 3, so we will insert 3, comma 0, we will close the bracket and we'll hit enter, we will insert if error just behind VLOOKUP, bracket open, we will come in the end, comma, double inverted comma twice, bracket close and we will hit enter. We will select few employee IDs. We will drag this till 15th. I am creating this for 15 employees. So I have taken from 1 to 15 date. We will have to insert it manually. I will insert a date, 4th April. I will select this. We will right click the mouse, format cells, date. And I'll select a preferred date format. I'll come in home and we'll take this in center and in mid. I'll insert formula for day and the formula will be plus or equal to text bracket open. I'll select the date comma double inverted comma d d d double inverted comma close bracket close and I'll hit enter. I'll click over here just behind text and we'll insert if bracket open this date is equal to 0 comma double inverted comma twice comma I'll come in the end we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter so whenever the date column will be blank the day column will also be blank I'll drag this we are going to mark attendance for 1st of April so I have taken 1st April over here for all the employees 
लीव टाइप बेटा आई डू इट अटेंडेंस और लीव टाइप अटेंडेंस स्लैश लीव टाइप I'll click over here. We'll go in data, data validation, list, source. I'll go in setting sheet. We'll click over here. Means we'll select this, and we'll do OK. So drop down list for attendance got created. I'll drag this. We'll select this, and we'll take this in center. I'll click over here, and we'll insert holidays. We'll hit enter. We'll insert borders. We'll increase the column size. I'll insert formula for holidays over here. Plus or equal to V lookup bracket open lookup value. I'll select date, comma table array. I'll go in setting sheet, and we'll select this, and we'll press function F4 or F4. Name of the holidays are in column two, so I'll put comma. Two, comma zero. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. I'll insert if error just behind V lookup. If error bracket open. I'll come in the end, comma double inverted comma twice bracket close and we'll hit enter. So whenever there will be any holidays, name of the holiday will feature over here. Suppose I'll change this date and we'll do first of January. So on first of January there was a holiday of New Year. So the name of holiday got featured over here. I'll change the date and we'll do it April once again. When we will have to mark the attendance of second, we will copy this from first employee to last employee. We'll copy this and we'll paste it over here. We'll insert the date, second of April. We'll drag this, copy cells. We will do one thing. We will click over here. We'll go in conditional formatting. Highlight cell rule equal to. Saturday. We will highlight our Saturday in red. We will do OK. We will go in conditional formatting once again. Manage rules. I'll click over here. Duplicate rule. Edit rule. I'll delete Saturday from here and we'll type Sunday. I will highlight my Sunday in green, and we'll do OK. OK. So Saturday got highlighted in red, and Sunday got highlighted in green. So Saturday was week off. I'll select week off, and we'll drag it. Sunday is also week off, so I'll drag this. Now we will create our monthly summary sheet. I'm not going to create the format because formatting takes lots of time. We will just insert the formulas. But before that, we will go in mark leaves. We will click inside our table. We'll go in insert slicer, and from here we will select date. Okay. We will take this in right side. We'll go on top columns. We will make it four. We will drag this and we'll enlarge it. Now, whenever the attendance will be updated, our slicer will keep on updating. We will insert one more slicer. We will click inside our table. We'll go in Insert Slicer, and this time we will select Employee Name. Okay. We will take this over here. We'll go in Columns and we'll make it three. We'll drag this. So with the help of this slicer, we can check attendance name-wise also. I'll close the filter. Now we will go in our monthly summary, and we'll insert the formulas. We'll go in developer, combo box, and I'll click over here. So our combo box got inserted. I'll resize this, and we'll reposition. We'll right-click the mouse. We'll go in format control, input range. I'll click over here. We'll go in setting sheet. I'll take this in right side, and I'll select the months from Jan to December. Cell link. I'll click over here. I'll take this in right side, and I'll click over here. We'll do OK. Now, whenever I'll select the month, number of that month will feature over here. Currently, I've selected Jan, so it's showing one. When I'll select Feb, it got changed to two. I'll click next to the number. And we'll insert a formula, and the formula will be plus or equal to index bracket open R A. We will go in our setting sheet, and we'll select the months from Jan to December. Comma. We have to provide the row number. I'll go in monthly summary, and we'll select the sequence number which we have inserted right now. 
will close the bracket and will hit enter. Here it's showing first date of the month. When I'll select Jan, it's showing first date of January. When I'll select March, it's showing first date of March. So I'll keep it Jan. Now we will insert formula for our dates. I'll click over here, plus or equal to. I'll select this and we'll hit enter. Formula for rest of the dates will be totally different. Plus or equal to if bracket open first date I'll insert dollar between D and 4 is smaller than EO month bracket open first date I'll press F4 or function F4 comma 0 bracket close comma first date plus 1 comma double inverted comma EOM double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter. So formula for second date got inserted we will drag it till end. Whenever we will change the month after the last day of the month it will be showing EOM. So in February it's showing EOM after 28th. When I'll do March EOM will vanish. When I'll do April after 30th it's showing EOM. I'll do it Jan. We will click on our combo box and we'll reposition it. We will put it over here. We are not going to delete this formula because all our dates are attached with this or connected with this. We will insert formula for days and the formula will be plus or equal to text bracket open. We will select the first date comma double inverted comma d d d double inverted comma close bracket close and we will hit enter now we will drag this till end employee id plus or equal to we will go in our setting sheet and we'll click on the first employee id and we'll hit enter now we will drag this employee name the formula will be plus or equal to we look up bracket open lookup value employee id will be our lookup value comma table array we will go in our setting sheet and we will select this employee name is in column 2 so we will put 2 over here comma 0 bracket close and we will hit enter we will drag this till end now we will insert formula for designation and the formula will be plus or equal to v lookup bracket open lookup value employee id will be the lookup value comma table array we will go in our setting sheet we will select this we'll press function f4 or f4 comma designation is in column 3 so i'll type 3 over here comma 0 bracket close and i'll hit enter i'll drag this till end i'll click just after h we'll press function f4 or f4 and the cells will be logged and will hit enter. I'll drag this till end. Now whenever the employee data will change in setting sheet, it will be updated in monthly summary also. Now we will click over here and we'll insert the formula. And the formula will be plus or equal to VLOOKUP bracket open lookup value. So our lookup value will be employee ID and date. We will click over here and we'll insert dollar between D and 4. We'll insert dollar behind A6. We'll come in the end. Comma. We have to provide table array. We will go in mark leaves. We'll select this. We'll press function F4. Our attendance is in column number 7. So I'll insert 7 over here. Comma 0. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter we can see an error over here so i'll insert if error just behind v lookup if error bracket open i'll come in the end comma double inverted comma twice bracket close and i'll hit enter now i'll drag this till end until last date of the month so our formula has got inserted now we will click over here and we'll create drop downs for our week offs we'll go in data data validation list source we will type from monday to sunday none monday tuesday wednesday thursday 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday and we will do OK. So our drop down got created. We will drag this and two drop downs got created. We will select Saturday and we will select Sunday. Now we will select this. We will go to home, conditional formatting, new rule, classic, use a formula to determine which cells to format and our formula will be plus or equal to we will click on the first day of the month we'll remove the first dollar is equal to we will select first drop down i want to highlight my saturdays in red so i'll do okay and all the saturdays got highlighted we will go in conditional formatting once again manage rules i'll click over here duplicate rule edit rule our first drop down was in B3. Our second drop down is in C3. So I'll do it C3. We'll select green color and we'll do OK. OK. So our Sundays got highlighted in green. From here, we can control our week offs. I just want Sunday as my week off so I can do none and only Sundays will be highlighted. In case I want to highlight my Sunday in red, I'll do this none and we'll select Sunday from here. And my Sunday got highlighted in red. So I'll do it Saturday and Sunday. We'll change the month and we'll do it February. Now I'll highlight my EOM means end of the month. I'll select this. We'll go in conditional formatting. New rule. Classic. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. And our formula will be plus or equal to. We will select the first date. We'll remove the first dollar is equal to double inverted comma EOM double inverted comma close. We'll click over here on the drop down. We'll go to custom format. Fill. We will select red color from here. OK. OK. So our EOM got highlighted in red. Whenever we will change the month. The highlights will vanish as well as EOM will vanish. I have marked list for the month of April. So I'll change the month from here and we'll do it April. And we are able to see the attendance or leaves. I'll come in right hand side. And we'll insert the formulas over here to calculate our present, absent and our leaves. And the formula will be plus or equal to count if bracket open. We will select from first date till last date. We'll insert dollar behind D6 and behind AG6. Our month is ending at AH. I'll do it H, comma. I'll select this and we'll insert dollar between AI5. Means after AI dollar. I'll hit enter. I'll drag this and we'll drag this till end. We'll click over here and we'll insert formula for total leaves and the formula will be plus or equal to sum bracket open. We will select this. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We'll drag this till end. Total leaves without holidays formula will be plus or equal to total leaves minus holidays. Enter. I'll drag this till end. Now I'll select this. We'll go in conditional formatting. Highlight cell rule equal to 0. I'll click on the drop down. Custom format. Font. And I'll select white. OK. OK. So all the zeros got vanished. And our attendance and leaves are visible. Half day. We will click over here. We'll click next to formula. Divided by 2 means half day will be divided by 2 as it's not a full leave it's just the half leave enter i'll drag this till end i'll leave it selected we'll click over here ignore error so this thing is done i'll come in right hand side now i'll insert formula for the salary before inserting the formula i'll come over here in left side and we'll insert our leaves plus or equal to v lookup bracket open Lookup value, we will select the date, comma, table RA, 
we will go in setting sheet we'll select this name of holidays are in column 2 so i'll do comma 2 comma 0 bracket close and i'll hit enter it's showing an error over here i'll insert if error just behind v lookup bracket open i'll come in the end comma double inverted comma twice bracket close and i'll hit enter now i'll drag this till end and we'll wrap the text whenever there will be any holidays name will feature over here i'll select month of january and one holiday is visible over here i'll do one thing i'll click over here and we'll click just after m and we'll press function f4 or f4 we'll hit enter and we'll drag it once again so all our leaves are visible over here now i'll change the month February and leave of February is visible. I'll select March and leave of March is visible. I'll do it April and leave of April is visible. We will highlight our holidays also. I'll select this. We'll go in home, conditional formatting, new rule, classic, use a formula to determine which says to format and the formula will be plus or equal to count if bracket open we will type holidays over here comma we will click on the first date we will remove the first dollar bracket close we will click on the drop down custom format fill and we will select blue color from here okay okay and our holidays got highlighted I'll click outside the table. I'll come in right hand side. Now we will insert our formula over here and the formula will be plus or equal to present plus sick leave plus maternity leave plus casual leave plus PL plus week offs plus holidays plus half day we will divide half day by 2 and we will hit enter. Now we will drag this till end. Basic salary. The formula will be plus or equal to V lookup. Bracket open. Lookup value. We will come in left side. We will select employee ID. Comma. Table array. We will go in our setting sheet and we will select this function f4 or f4 and we will log the cells 1 2 3 4 salary is in fourth column comma 4 comma 0 bracket close and i'll hit enter i'll come in right side and we'll drag this till end salary as per attendance the formula will be plus or equal to basic salary divided by count bracket open number of days in the whole month i'll select from first till last day of the month we'll press f4 or function f4 bracket close into total paid days and i'll hit enter i'll drag this till end we will do one thing i'll come in left side we'll copy the combo box right click the mouse copy i'll come over here and we'll paste one combo box over here also. HRA. The formula will be plus or equal to basic salary into 10%. These are random figures of percentage which I have taken. So you can change this percentage from here as per your requirement. We'll press function F4 or F4 and the cells will be logged. And we'll hit enter. We'll drag this till end. The formula for TA and DA will be same. Plus or equal to basic salary into percentage function f4 or f4 enter and i'll drag it da plus or equal to basic salary into percentage function f4 or f4 enter drag this till end gross salary the formula will be plus or equal to basic salary plus hra plus ta plus DA. Enter. 
I'll drag this till end. PF, ESIC and professional tax. Professional tax, it will be plus or equal to, I'll click over here, we'll press function F4 or F4 and I'll hit enter. I'll drag this till end. PF and ESIC, the formula will be plus or equal to basic salary into percentage function F4 or F4 enter formula for ESIC will be same plus or equal to basic salary into percentage function F4 or F4 and I'll hit enter I'll select both and will drag till end salary in hand the formula will be plus or equal to gross salary minus PF minus ESIC minus professional tax and I'll hit enter. I'll drag this till end. I'll click over here. We'll take this in bracket and we'll insert criteria of if. If bracket open salary as per attendance is equal to zero comma double inverted comma twice comma we will come in the end, we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. We'll drag this till end. So all the formulas got inserted over here. We will click on the tab name or sheet name. We'll right click the mouse, move or copy, move to end, create a copy and we will do OK. This will be our summary sheet. We will change the tab color. We are in summary sheet now. I'll delete this. I'll delete this also. I'll delete the dates. We'll delete all the formulas. We'll delete this. This will be our salary for one day. If required, we will manage these formulas later on. I'll come in left side. Now we will insert the formula over here and the formula will be plus or equal to count ifs bracket open. We will go in mark leaves and we'll select the date column. We'll press function F4 and the cells will be logged, comma, double inverted comma, greater than or equal to, double inverted comma close, and we will go to summary sheet, we'll select first date, we'll press function F4, comma, we will go to mark leaves and we'll select date column once again. We'll press function F4, comma, double inverted comma, smaller than or equal to double inverted comma close and we will come to summary sheet and we'll select the last date. We'll press function F4 comma, we will go to mark leaves and we'll select employee ID. We'll press function F4 comma, we will go to summary sheet and we'll select the first employee ID. We'll insert dollar just behind A comma, we will go to mark leaves and we'll select the leave type column, means all the leaves. We'll press function F4, comma, we will go to summary sheet and we'll select the first attendance or leave type, means we will click just under present. We'll insert dollar between D and 5, we'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So our formula got inserted, we will drag this and we'll drag it till here. We will leave it selected, we will go in conditional formatting, highlight cell rule equal to, we will put 0 over here, we will click on the drop down, custom format, font, color, we will select as white, ok, ok. So all the zeros got vanished and we are able to see only the attendance or leaves. I will come in right hand side. Now we will insert our formula over here for salary one day. And the formula will be plus or equal to basic salary divided by count bracket open. We will go in monthly summary and we'll select from first till last date. And we'll press function F4 and the cells will be logged. We'll close the bracket and we'll hit enter. So we have got salary for one day over here. I'll drag this till end. Now I'll cross check the formulas. HRA, 
basic salary into 10%, TA basic salary into 8%, DA basic salary into 6%, gross salary basic salary plus HRA plus TA plus DA, PF basic salary into 8%, ESIC basic salary into 2%, Professional tax, it's taking figure from top, means rupees 200. Salary in hand, gross salary minus PF minus ESIC minus professional tax. So all our calculations are perfect now. Whenever we will have to check the data, we will have to change the date range. In case you want to check the data for six months, you will have to put the starting date over here and end date over here. In case you want to check the data for whole year, Starting date will be January and the end date will be December and the data for whole year will be featured over here. Just to remind you once again, whenever you will have to mark attendance, you will have to click over here under employee ID and you will have to insert employee ID over here means just one employee ID and you will have to select the data from the drop down and the table will be inserted. I will delete this. Even you can copy paste the employee ID over here. I'll copy all the employee IDs from 1 to 15 and we'll paste in the end. In the slicer, we can see blank over here when we will insert the date. It got updated. So whenever we will have to mark the attendance of 4th, we will have to click over here, means on 3rd and we will be diverted to the end of the sheet. And from here, we can copy employee ID and we'll have to paste over here in the end. And the data will be updated and we can mark our attendance or leaves over here very properly. We'll update one more date, we'll make it fourth and we'll drag it. And our slicer got updated over here and when we will click on fourth, only the data of fourth will be visible. So this sheet is ready now. I'll provide link of this file in description box. In case you want to download, you can. I'm sure you must have loved the video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with a new topic. Till then. Bye-bye.